Hi all. Today I'm going to dazzle you with my makeup skills and by skills I mean ink capabilities. Follow along and learn how probably not to do makeup with me. Ray. First thing I learned that I have what's called a hooded eye. I think I believe don't quote me. What that means is that I have to do eyeshadow a little different and I run more of a risk of my eyeshadow rubbing off during the day. The big things I've seen is to use a primer on your eyes. Um, so I did go ahead and get the NYX, NYX Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer tube like this. It has kind of like a lip gloss applicator. And that is supposed to go on your eyes prior to eyeshadow. I have to allow this to dry prior to putting eyeshadow on. So I'm actually going to apply this first. How this goes. So I'm going to use a mirror instead of you. So I'm not going to be looking right at you, but I'm still here. Um, I'm going to apply it gently my eye. I'm just covering my eyelid. If you hear a crackling in the background, I have um, a wooden wick candle burning. I got it in one of my Walmart boxes. I really like it. Um, smells great. It has a real like fire like wick. Well, not like flame. It is noisy. <laughs> it sounds like you got a whole fire burning in your house. Sit for a minute like this. Alright, so next I'm going to go ahead and put my concealer on. I'm probably sure any professional will be like, no, you should always do your concealer before the primer. Um... And if that's true, please comment and let me know because I don't know and would appreciate the information if you have it. All right, next up, take your wet, a wet beauty blender. So I'm just gonna dab in the Concealer. Um, I kind of do I send this? I would appreciate it. Um, mirror, mirror, not phone. Mirror. It makes it so much easier. I don't know why my first instinct is always to squint into my phone and do a little dabby dabby, dabby dabby. Dabby dabby. So next up is my Maybelline BB Fresh um, tinted moisturizer basically. I really like this. It has SPF which I need almost always. I just kind of put it right on there. Not sure how horribly wrong this is. Feel free to tell me. Farbly nicely. <laughs> Next up, I come in with this guy and mirror. Mirror. I have Rimmel Insta Dual Contour Stick. So, there's that. And there's two ends. One's bronzer, darkener. And then the other is highlighter. So, start with the dark and add the lines. My issue is I go like, like I look like a drum on face with a crayon, which I'm pretty sure is not quite correct. So I know I'm supposed to like, Find your cheekbone and like 
cheek on it. That's the hole. That's definitely gonna blend. So that is nowhere near even. Alright. That's a little down here. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna look like a fool again. But hey, this time you get to see it. And I'm gonna apply the highlighter. Right here, right here. Uh, there's a cute on the highlighter spot. Full color musician because I know from art that you can. It's easier to start lighter and go darker. Wow, I look. Like I'm friends with a zebra. Alright. I don't know which side is better to use. I like the pointy side. Well, if there's a reason to use one or the other side again, please let me know. Comments. I want comments. Alright. Yeah, I can still see. Mirror! Mirror! I have a mirror. I'm not sure that counts as contouring, but I can still see some of it. Mm, it might be definition. I don't know. Help! Alright. So next up is going to be my eyes. So in one of my boxes, I got this really pretty. If I can open it. It's Violet Voss, I believe. This is the color. So I'm going to do this on my eyes. Um, and I'm going to use a couple colors from my Pretty All Set, but you can be kind of like a smoky eye sort of situation. Um, but I definitely want to try this color um, with the primer and see if that does help. brush. That's what I'm going to use. Put some up on there. And I really have to risk, risk this. I, for some reason I really want to blow on it, but I've been told by multiple people that that is really bad because it introduces bacteria to the uh, to the brush and what you're about to apply on your face. You basically rub bacteria on your face. Alright. Mirror. Mirror. So, I'm gonna start right about in the middle with this and take it up uh, fairly high on my eye. I have such little eyes. And with the hood, I basically take makeup to right there, which is barely below my eyebrow. But I feel like if I do it any lower than that, I'm basically, there's no point in doing it. Um, to find a way to stand this up. Stand with my mirror next to my phone. All right, I'm horrible at this eye because <laughs> I can only wink with this eye. So when I try to close this eye, this eye closes, and the way my hand works. I don't know how people are so good at doing stuff on the best. So eventually almost all of my eye with this color. By the way, the color is Barrett All. This lighter color here and put it in the corners of my eye. Like that. 
I'm gonna leave this one right here. Um, and so the first color I did, you can see it has a shimmer to it. Ooh, this is dark. I got a LARP. Um, color on there. I did not mean to get quite that much color. Um, this is looking really bad. <laughs> I don't want it way too dark. Alright. But I can fix it. I'm gonna take my floofy brush and I'm gonna get some of the bear it all on there for the shimmer. And then I'm gonna blend it and hope that I can dial down these lines. And make it shimmer over it all. Which might be a lost cause. I have a striped eye. Alright. Like I said, I am not very good at this at all. I'm gonna get more of that bear at all. I'm just gonna. And I'm gonna use my mirror. My mirror, mirror makes things look better somehow. Distinct line of the darker color. Oh no. Definitely see do a sweep D under here and under here. That made it look worse. Oh my goodness. Bear it all as well. Alright, so then I will take the fluffy and loop again under um, one of the uh, just punched in the eye. Oh, bye. We're gonna go with it. Next up, brows. Probably a different order than a lot of people do. So. Spoolie. I learned that this is called a spoolie. This, and I'm gonna brush my eyebrows, and apparently you should brush them up. I always did directly to the side because that is how they grow. But I guess because that's how they grow, you're supposed to brush them up. I don't know. Brushing this feels like a really bad idea. Brushing up, brushing up, brushing up with the spoolie. I also feel like I have pretty decent brows. That's actually all I'm gonna do with brows today. I have put some like dark powder on them. Um, but I'm just kind of not feeling like it today. I am going to add, so I'm going to put mascara on. I used to avoid this at all costs. I've tried this a couple times now and it hasn't been the worst thing in the world. No, it's clumping more than it has before. So next would be lips if I was doing something, um, currently not. I do have a lippy on the way, and I'll start trying to use that. Um, Alright, so this is the final look. It's a bit of a punched in the eye chic to it. I definitely need more practice, but overall I like... 
I definitely like in here. I did get my under eyes cleared up. Even some, I had acne spots down here. They're not entirely visible. The main flaws, I do have issues with this. I don't know how to deal with that. And then I definitely need to get better at the smoky eye instead of the uh, black eye. Um, and I might need to switch mascaras if I'm gonna keep it because there's a fair amount of clumping with the glasses and I'm actually gonna turn the light off so we don't get light rings. Sorry, it's a bit dark now, but yeah, I don't hate it. Let me know your thoughts on it, advice on fixing it, um, and if there's anything you would like me to try next. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever floats your boat. I will see you in the next video.